working. Alright. Alright. Oh shit. What? Let's see if it gives me a year. Hey, hey! <laughs> Mm, 2019 again. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. It doesn't. No, that's why I'll, I'll just go. We're going back 80. to the 80s. Um. Oh, look. They live 88. Okay. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to... Fantastic Four. That's a good Good one. book. New run. That's right. Yeah. All right, everybody. We're back. The Dude Brothers, Max and Chubbs, bringing you entertainment from space and time. Today we're going back to 1988. This is a now pretty much, you know, across the board classic, They Live, starring Keith David and Roddy Roddy Piper. And this is another one close to us and a lot of people who love what they tried to, you know, do. This is a John Carpenter classic. And let's check it out together in three, two, one. Hey. I don't know who that guy is, but he looks rowdy. That's right. Mm -hmm. And maybe he plays the bagpipes. <laughs> <laughs> it's his name. I didn't know. <sighs> I hate to say it, but... It, Wait a minute. It's a play on materialism today. You're cool. We don't know about you out there, though. We'll find you. Come to the Caribbean. <laughs> Marry and reproduce. <laughs> That's what we do anyway, but okay. I mean, I hate to say it, but that's basically what songs are. I mean, you know? I mean, yeah. It'd be nice if it wasn't true, but... And that's the, the good part about this. We don't know if this could be happening. Like, none of us have this, the glasses, the, you know... The glasses could just be your subconscious. Right. You know, like, how you look at the world. Stay asleep, no thought. I just hope he has enough gum in his pocket. I was going to say, we're we watching a movie or a preview. Yeah. <laughs> there wasn't a good array of trailers to pick from, so I just picked one with nah, the I mean, basis of it. It gets the point across. Yeah, where you don't, you know, you don't know exactly what's going on, but it gives you enough to go, whoa, this looks cool. Beer kind of works as these glasses. That's right. Beer goggles, as they say. Yeah. Are you kidding? <laughs> I think I freaking run. I said, what's your problem? You know, what if the guy with the gray hair put the glasses on and looked at him? Right. What do we look like to them? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. They never explain it. Now, if the paper really just says obey and stuff, why would that guy buy it? Right. What's he going to do? Do they see what the glasses see? Right. That's a good question. I, I kind of took it that. as they did. I kind of took right. they see the world as that. There's a good clip from the movie They Live, John Carpenter, 1988, Roddy Roddy Piper, Keith David, to name, there's a million great people in this movie, where, spoilers as always, there's aliens who've already invaded, and to cut, to see what's going on, the resistance of humans make glasses and contacts that see what the aliens see and you find out they're using television and technology to try and rule the world and Roddy Piper and the resistance eventually break it up and the best part of the movie to most people is when they break it and like somebody's sleeping with a girl and the girl turns uh. into an alien but 
it was a good take, even as '88, to show like consumerism and mm-hmm. mark people like like buying everything. And that was the point where I always had a question about the title because the title is "They Live." The title should have been something like "They're, They're Here." here. You know, I mean, <laughs> right? Like, it didn't like, make sense. You know, I was like, because they live. It's like it's not a corpse. It's not a zombie. I mean, like they live could re- almost refer to the humans. Like we're lucky enough right. to still be alive. Like they could have wiped us out completely. Or you I know think of I mean? zombies. You, you know, know? would live, but it should be there here. Uh, um, I gave you that. One thing I always talk about when I talk about this movie is, and I do talk about this movie a lot. It's a great movie. Um, is uh, ride a ride a bike. You know, mm-hmm. um, I think when because when this movie came out, I don't think it was received as well as it is now. You know, it took a while. Yeah, I mean, now it's game. awesome. I mean, it was always a great movie, but I don't know when it came out. Maybe just in my area or whatever, people didn't seem to like it too much or didn't take it seriously. I think right. that's the thing, and I think one you know, Roddy Roddy Pipe is awesome in this. Yeah, nowadays. Yeah. People are like, oh, he was great in that movie, great in that movie. But I think him being in this movie heard it when it came out. Because I think people said, oh, there's a wrestler in it. And there's one yeah. fight scene where he does wrestling It's not moves. like today where The Rock and real wrestlers change. Go Back the then, if a wrestler was in it a was movie, a gimmick. it was a gimmick. It was a, a, it was a cameo. Bring up Rocky Three with you know, Hulk Hogan. Yeah, it was just a cameo. Oh, look, that wrestler's in it. Now I think stars. by him being in it, I mean, I love him in it. Right. Now, now everybody loves him in it. But I think when it first came out, people were like, oh, that wrestler's in it. It's going to be goofy. Oh, he's the star. Right. Oh, it's going to be goofy. So I actually think him being in it actually heard it, heard it for a while. Yeah. Um, I would like to say this has, it's always in, if you see a list of the top 10 or top five movie fights, is in this movie with him and Keith David. Mm-hmm. There's five minutes of just, and it's not like, Matrixy or anything. It's just people punching and kicking each other in the groin. Real wrestling moves. It's real wrestling moves. And that's another thing. Life. People are like, oh, he's doing wrestling in it. And so, that, like I said, at yeah. the time, I really think it hurt it, you know? But he did to us a great job. Yeah. Like, he fit in, and it's a little dystopian. Like, it's not, like, you watch it, it's not like, oh, it's it's what the 80s was, and then these people are there. It's like Carpenter made his own universe. Like, mm-hmm. like Big Trouble in Little China, where... Crazy stuff's happening, but not in the real, real world. So, and this movie held up like as far as visually, like, I mean, it's late '80s, right. but usually when you watch an '80s movie, like people are wearing like high socks and got a jukebox, like it, big phone. Yeah, this movie doesn't have any of that. It holds up because like they were poor, so they were just construction workers. They, they were wearing it, pants and a flannel. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, like I said, if you watch this movie. And somebody told you it was in the '90s or 2000s. You, it would look the same. It would look the same, yeah. So right. you know, it held up as far as that. You know, so, I like this movie. It's, so this yes, is awesome. We recommend uh, check out "They Live," the John Carpenter classic from the late '80s, and tell us what you think. Decide for yourself if it's an image of today or or a bygone tomorrow. But we recommend it. So till next time. We're the Dude Brothers, Max and Chubbs, bringing you entertainment across space and time. Until next time, over and out. I'm here to read comics and kick ass. And I'm out of comics.